Hi guys, uh, to start working with Terraform in our local system, uh, first we need to complete the setup. Uh, so to complete the setup, uh, we need to install Visual Studio Code, we need to install Azure CLI, we need to install Terraform, and we need to set path in system variables. So once we complete these four steps, then we are very ready uh, to start working with Terraform in our local system. So let us complete all these four steps one by one. I'll go to browser, dial uh, I'll download Visual Studio Code. This is the Visual Studio code for Windows. Uh, let us download it. Yeah. Uh, let us run this setup file. I accept the agreement. Next, 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 install. Yes. So now I have completed the first step. I have downloaded Visual Studio Code and installed it. Let us see if I can find it. Yeah, you can see Visual Studio Code is there on my system now. Now let us go for the second step. Install Azure CLI. We'll go for browser and type install Azure CLI. This is for Microsoft installer. Let us click on it. This is the setup file. Let us install it. I accept the license agreement. Yes.
it is taking some time let us wait yes now azure cli has been successfully installed so uh, so we have completed the second step now go for the third step let us install terraform in this step few people might uh, feel some confusion here yeah this terraform let us download it so i got this file downloaded okay now what we need to do is we need to extract this file uh, let us extract it the file got extracted okay and copy this folder extracted folder and keep it in a location where you don't disturb it okay now open the folder and double click on this terraform okay see you have observed once we have double clicked on this terraform we have seen a blank a black screen that has come back for a second and just vanished so it means that we have successfully installed Terra. Now let us go to command prompt. And let us try to execute Terraform command. Terraform. Okay. Now we can see Terraform is not recognized as internal or external command. The reason is we have not completed the fourth step that is set path in system variables. Okay, guys. Now go to Windows and click on edit system environment variables. Okay, click on it. There you go for environment variables and in system variables, you click on path. Then you click on edit. Here, now let us copy our Terraform file location. This is the location from where we have installed Terraform. Okay, let us copy it and uh, go to edit system variables okay now click on path click on edit then click on new and paste the location click on okay and then okay then okay now you go to command prompt again now you go to command prompt again and now you go for terraform now you can see all the terraform commands so uh, now we have how many steps we have completed we have completed installing visual studio we have completed installing azure cli we have completed installing terraform we have completed a visual studio code in our system okay and we have cloud okay let us go to cloud this is our cloud we will go for our portal portal.azure.com Okay, uh, let us create a sample uh, script here. Okay, let us create a new folder to store all this Terraform code. New folder code. Yes. Open this folder. Open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Open this folder and let us create a file in it. Let us say example one.tf. The extension should be tf. Yeah. Now we need to go to this extensions and and type terraform. Okay. We need to install all the extensions. So I have already installed these extensions, guys. So if you have not installed them. Uh, please go to extensions and 
install all the terraform built in extensions install all these the top four one then it's enough okay so once we have created example.tf file and we will we paste a sample code in it this is the simple code you will raise more we will write more complicated codes going forward this is only for our understanding purpose so let us create a this code is to create a resource group we need to observe one important point we have visual studio code and a terraform sample terraform file in it and we have azure cloud okay so once we execute script here it needs to be deployed in azure cloud so how can we connect uh, this this system our system to the cloud so that once we execute script here it needs to be deployed here so to do that we need to go to command prompt and click on az login so once we click on az login you will be navigated to the browser here we need to select our azure account now our azure account has been successfully linked to our computer so once we deploy the script here it will be deployed it will be it will create resource in our azure cloud so let us try it and go to terminal new terminal now let us execute this sample script and let's see whether we can see the resources got deployed now let, let us run terraform commands terraform init I'll explain you all these commands going forward. For now, let us try and see if the resource is getting deployed in Azure Cloud or not. Yeah, got successfully initialized. Now go for Terraform validate. Validate. Now go for Terraform plan. Now here we are creating Terraform session to resource group. Now go, go to cloud and see there is no resource group with the name Terraform session two. Okay. Now it is now the plan is getting run. Yeah, one to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. Now go for uh, Terraform apply. Yes. It's creating a resource group. Yes. Let us go to the portal, refresh. It might take some time. Now we can see a new resource group has been created, Terraform session two. Okay, guys, in this session, we have understood 
how to complete terraform setup in our desktop and run a sample terraform file to deploy resources in azure so going forward we use more complicated code and yeah thank you guys have a nice day bye